For centuries, medical schools have used human cadavers to teach anatomy to their students. An innovative new process can now turn organic tissue into plastic, and that allows tissue samples to be used as teaching tools that don't become contaminated and can last for years. And the University of Arizona has one of only four places in the country with a plastination lab. Plastination is, although it's been around for quite a while, it's uh, what it, it, the main purpose is it allows you to uh, take med medical education to a whole new level. You can handle the uh, structures and material without gloves, without worry of exposure to formaldehyde or phenol or to any uh, toxic agents. Anything organic can be plastinated. Um, uh, again, Gunther von Hagen's is plastinated cheesecake, just to show that it can be done. The, you start with a toxic substance, basically because it's been perfused with formaldehyde. By the time you have your end product, it's, non it's no longer toxic and can be handled freely. And this is where the actual plastination is uh, taking place with the acetones coming out and the plumbers being forced in. I love my job. I love uh, seeing what I create, seeing what I can take from start to fruition. I love, I mean, there's the egotistical side. Yes, I love the fact that I'm the only person in the state that does it. It's very time consuming. You're basically here seven days a week uh, monitoring your specimens and not everybody has that time to, to give towards it.